This is driving around in circles really, really fast. Buckle up, Barry. Here we go. Billy, what are you doing? Get back in the car. Oh, my God. That's it. I've been thinking about leaving. You can't leave. We're a team. Teammates look out for each other. We got a sweet here, Luce. It doesn't get any better than this. I want more. So you guys basically play opposites in the film. So yeah, it's salt and pepper, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty well, like you're Billy's right hand man, yeah. and you've just come to the town to kind of just you know, a grease ball. shag, kind <laughs> yeah. of hook up with the girls. <laughs> what what attracted you guys to the role so much? Um, I think for me, I just when, when you read it. It was written so well, so it was all there on the page the first time you read it. And Sparrow is just very sweet and naive, and you know, wears his heart on his sleeve, and and then all the fun stuff he gets to do, like you know, yeah. running around in his undies and a cow onesie and getting covered <laughs> in interesting things, and um, so that's what really, you know, the heart. I think the heart of Sparrow and, and of the story drew me to the script the most. Yeah. So what about you, Lincoln? Well, I originally um, also auditioned for Sparrow, and he's such a such a great complex character. He's got every every cool thing and so I auditioned for that and um, and then they, they said hey can you put an audition down for the role of Nick yeah and um, and I read I read about Nick and I went this dude is pretty fun like yeah. this is sick like you know especially what uh, you know what happens along the way and I mean I this this was such a great project that you want to be part of regardless so I gotta just I'd be literally sitting there dressed as a tree if I had yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> you know this is a really really cool cultural project that hasn't been done before yeah so um, working with people you know you've looked up to for so long absolutely. Tim Ferguson and yeah absolutely Mark Gracie and, yeah. yeah so being part of it was was kind of no question and then um you, you get to play a fun character along the way so I was just like hell yeah awesome yeah. have you guys ever attended a bachelor's and students ball no I, I have mm. yeah I grew up out in the country so we sort of did our own sort of stuff out there but after we finished shooting we went to Denny the Denny Ute Muster. I think there's a bit of a difference between a bachelor's in Spencer's Ball and, and a, a Ute, Ute Muster. Yeah, I think yeah. there is. But yeah. So we went to a Ute Muster um, and it was an experience. It was <laughs> it was an experience. Yeah. Me and Dave had our clothes ripped off within the first ten minutes. Um, awesome. So sacrificed in a fire. Yeah, then, <laughs> then burnt. Yeah. Um, then jumped in the mud a few times. Yeah. Yeah. But There's nothing um, better about that. Because they were quite overdressed. They said the, the fellas that were around them were wearing um, just... It's nothing better. Slabs. Empty slabs. Empty cartons. <laughs> His undies. Just, just there. So So Zay was like, well, hey fellas, you reckon I'm overdressed? No, like, yeah. <laughs> he ripped his clothes off. And I thought, you know, I thought he would have learned his lesson, but he looks at me. And he looks back at them and he goes, what about him? Do you reckon he's overdressed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so what, what makes Spin Out such a genuine Aussie film? It's just... You know, I think there's a bit of a danger when making comedies to make fun of people, and that's mm. not what Spin Out does. You know, it's, it's you know about the performances are all really genuine, and it's about situations that are that are funny. Um, you know, and it's just it's really fast, it's really fun. It's, it's, it's got it's got heart, but it's also it doesn't it doesn't go too deep into ma like it's it's a it's a feel good film. It's a comedy and yeah. penned by the legendary Tim Tim Ferguson and yeah. it went excellent. So. Um, yeah. And like and like Travis said, it doesn't it doesn't make fun of anyone in particular, except for the character situations that it is, which yeah. is why it's a good comedy. But um, it it's really beautifully structured, so it doesn't offend anyone. Yeah, yeah. But also doesn't go politically correct as to compromise the joke. So which is really good because when watching the film, I noticed there was like a whole mix of characters, and it's yeah. so great to have that in a movie, just not that one type of Absolutely. character. Absolutely, I think yeah. it makes it yeah. really accessible. You know, like. If you're from the city, you might go, oh, I don't know if there's much in there for me. And, you know, it's it's all about things that people, you know, love, don't see that much in films, do you? Mm -mm. You know, commitment, m friendship, growing up when you don't want to. So there's something in there for everyone, something what everyone goes through at some point in their life. Yeah, and I think they were very smart not to stereotype anyone. Yeah, absolutely. They, they, with every character, it's more about them, their story as an individual and their complexities rather than just going, they're from this, so they're that. And he's, yeah. you know, Nick's from the city, so he's, you know, he's it was actually talking about little bits mm. and pieces and... And yeah, so they never stereotyped anyone. They just they they did such a great job, sort of yeah, bringing every Tim individual and Mark character story up. So open and so helpful in developing the characters and yeah, yeah making sure they're really three dimensional and yeah, yeah. And also allowed us to have uh, like an input, so they mm. weren't really just sort of like, no, this is our writing. They were so free with it. All. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. I'm glad you guys had fun. Oh, um, <laughs> so, other than Sparrow and other than Nick, which other characters would you guys take on in film other than your own? I I love Tubby. Yeah, Tubby's great. Yeah. <laughs> Ruda. Oh, oh, Ruda's a great character. Ruda's awesome too. They're all so. great characters. You yeah, can't, you can't, can't pick. No. The Carnies are great. Yes. Um, Everyone's got their own... I reckon I'd have a crack at playing Taya. 
playing the dog. Of course, Nob. The Nob. dog. Yeah. The dog. I think yeah. that'd be a bit of a transformation. You know what? Every time Nob was on that screen, every oh, you just hear unanimous oh, oh. <laughs> oh like anything that that yeah. they did, it was beautiful. But um, yeah, every, better actor than all of us could find. <laughs> oh, mate, every day of the week. Um, but um, yeah, every character's got their own unique spark that just make you fall in love with them. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I really love uh, the job that uh, Mark Nicholson did with Tubby. Mm -hmm. um, he he brought this ocker Australian blokiness to the role without trying to sound too. Mm. I'm an ocker Australian bloke, yeah. and with that humour that he brought to it, you just go. I have a mate like that or I've seen someone with a mate like that yeah. and he is endless laughs. Yeah. It's just everything he does and yeah. it's and he's funny even during the serious stuff that he's saying and that's like and not even saying he's trying to be he's just yeah. he just does it so well. So. I think that's why Spinout will do well because all the characters he's so, you can relate to them. You know, yeah. Like, mm. Flicking through scripts growing Everything up. Everything looks like it came naturally yeah. in the film which is a yeah. good it's a good thing to watch. Yeah. 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 You know you're looking through it you go oh yeah I went to you know high school with that guy you know went to worked at a pub with that guy. They're mm -hmm. just so real and so, you know, genuine, these characters. And I think yeah. it makes it easy to watch, easy to connect to, and then you really get on their journey. Yeah. So what were, you, what were your favourite part of filming this movie? Do you have a favourite scene in particular as well? But, well what about you? You've, you've had, like, a treasure <laughs> chest of awesome... Yeah, there's some... I think my pr the proudest f scene in the film is when sort of Billy and Sparrow break up, like they have their little bromance break up. That's um, a beautiful scene. Yeah, yeah, so I think that was the most satisfying film to sh uh, scene to shoot. But, you know, like the mud fight, and the beer, windmill, you can't really get much better than that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys, for your time, by the way. Hey, thanks very much, Thank mate. you so much. Appreciate it. Lots of guys here tonight, you feeling lucky? Oh, shit. Hell no. Lucy! It's the world's best beer windmill! I don't know what life will be like without you. Then stay. Hey, Mary, just wanted to grab your advice on something. My advice? Well, if you keep your hands off it, the rash should clear up in no time. <laughs>